and welcome to Liechtenstein, the sixth most smallest country and the richest country in the world as per uh, GDP per capita. Now this is uh, a little heard of uh, nation and I came down here to explore and see what it's all about, trust me, and I've just been amazed by its beautiful surroundings, picturesque uh, terrain, lush green atmosphere. And a perfect spot to come on down. Now this is Melbourne which is a bit of a ski resort uh, but beautiful places to trek and explore and in this video I'll tell you why this is a, a destination that you must visit and must not skip especially when you're in Western Europe and heading towards uh, other parts such as Switzerland and Austria and Germany. Now this is what this video is going to say and what Liechtenstein is all about. There we go, there's a flag for it and here we go and I'll tell you how my journey started. So I picked up my little hybrid mobile from Milan Airport and began my journey northbound. First stop was the lakeside town of Verbania to attend my friend Nick's wedding. I caught up with the rest of the crew to explore this Italian town with some island hopping to keep us entertained. Next morning, it was time for the wedding bells to ring. While the newlyweds danced the night away, some weren't too pleased with Ross's boxing skills. Soon, it was time to head north to Liechtenstein. So in Mabani at the moment and uh, just preparing for my drive to Liechtenstein, a bit of a destination that I wanted to tick off. Uh, been told a beautiful place, been told uh, that it's uh, the richest place in the world, the richest country in the world, as per, uh, per capita, so I thought we might as well check it out. Lots of mountains, lots of good things to see, a bit of a random destination, not many people go there but decided to do it and this is part of one key highlight of my visits and this is why I want to do it and I'm doing it now. So off to Liechtenstein it is. Within an hour's drive I crossed into Switzerland. Very quickly I learned the Swiss way and bought the Vignetta tool sticker to be able to drive on the motorways. But first, I felt like an adventurous pit stop. So on my way to Swiss, to Liechtenstein, in fact, stopped off to a little neighborhood or countryside to go towards Del Ponte, light suspended bridge. A bit of a trek I had to look forward to. To get to that bridge, I had to trek for an hour through the Monte Carrasso woods. Though it was tiring, it was well worth reaching this 270 meter long bridge which hangs around 130 meters above this gorge. With all the hype and energy, I thought might as well do some push-ups. Before it got a bit dark, it was time for another hour-long trek back.
From there, it was another two and a half hour drive through the Swiss Alps. The A13 motorway was a very scenic route. turn off towards Liechtenstein and was greeted with a downpour as across the Rhine River to enter the sixth smallest country of the world. A long drive called for an early night. The next morning I caught somewhat of a Lichten breakfast before heading to explore the country. I drove up north towards the ski resort of Malbun and hopped on the ski lifts that took me to an elevation of 2,000 meters above sea level. walking around town and in these uh, mountainous terrain or you know hiking around here you'll find and hear these beautiful noises and it's just these guys friendly faces With limited time, I had to head back down to drive to the capital, Vaduz. With a population of just above 37,000, Liechtenstein is only 25 kilometers long. Its capital, Vaduz, is home to a number of museums and art galleries and is known to be a country with more jobs than its own people. Each year, just under a million tourists visit this country. I was glad I was one of them this year and finally ticked this country off the bucket list. 